We're here at our third round feature match. I've got Kazu Negri on the right. He's playing five color Shadow Zoo versus Mark Ballard on the left. He's playing the Enduring Ideal deck. Kurt, can you please give the people a brief explanation of the deck while I get us rolling here? Uh, which deck? Enduring Ideal? Yes. Oh, man. I, I like this deck a lot. Not my personal preference for what I would play, but it is a fun deck. Uh, so Enduring Ideal... Uh, plays almost entirely, I think it might actually be entirely enchantments minus uh, the Enduring Ideal card itself. Right. Uh, so basically, uh, what Mark is going to try to do is lock Kazu out of the game entirely uh, using a suite of enchantments that will make it next to impossible for Kazu to attack, uh, to cast certain cards because he runs Rune Halo. I think he runs Nevermore in this list too. Um, he runs Suppression Fields, makes it hard to activate abilities, do all that kind of stuff. And then once he has the board locked down, he also has a little bit of mana ramp because he, I think, runs four Ley Lines in the main board. So you can start with a bunch of Ley Lines on the battlefield and then use Nykthos to kind of ramp up a little bit. I see Ghostly Prison. Yep, Ghostly Prison. Uh, sphere of Safety. Mm -hmm. uh, just makes it hard for them to do anything. And then the end goal is to uh, cast Enduring Ideal. It has Epic, which uh, was a Kamigawa ability. They printed one Epic card in each color. Uh, and what it is, is that... Um, oh. Yeah, we keep talking. All right. So what it is, is we have... Um, if a card with Epic is cast and resolves, then for the rest of the game, uh, the player who casts the card with Epic cannot cast any more spells... But at the beginning of each of their upkeeps, they will make a copy of the card that they cast that has epic. Uh, so basically, once he casts Enduring Ideal... Is he down to four? Uh, yes, he's down to yeah. four. Yeah. So uh, once he casts Enduring Ideal, he won't be able to cast anything else for the rest of the game. But at the beginning of each of his upkeeps, Mark will be able to basically find any enchantment out of his deck that he wants. That's crazy. And put it on a battlefield. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Because that's what Enduring Ideal does. I forgot to mention. It has epic, and then it lets you basically search for an art, uh, an enchantment and put it on a battlefield. So Mark Mark mold to four. Yep. But he gets to start with a ley line in play, which yep. might be okay against the zoo deck. Yeah. Yeah, and then he has planes go. And Kaz is going to say, Aaron Mesa, go after a bobble. Yep. So, uh... I actually played against Mark last week, and I was on Blue Eye Control, and our matchup was hilarious and slow, and Ron didn't even start the timer in the last round, so we weren't Whoops. even sure, like, what to uh. do. Yeah, uh, uh. so, yeah, I took game one, and then we goofed off a bunch in game two, and I got locked down, I got, uh... Uh, form of the dragon, and then and then we just decided to draw because we didn't want to play a third game because it took so long. You saw Kazu had to target himself off that bobble because yep. of the ley line. Because of the ley line, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's sweet is when you ultimate a Jace Architect, I thought, and take uh, an Enduring Ideal player's one and only copy of Form of the Dragon. <laughs> What's funny is that <laughs> this ley line will protect hit, uh, Mark against a Jace the Mind Sculptor ultimate. What's that? Kazu won't be able to ultimate Jace the Mind Sculptor to uh, to win because he can't target Mark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor's ultimate does not target. Oh, it doesn't. So it, can't. it just says, it says an for opponent. each player. For each player, you search that player's library for. That is not just the mind sculptor. That is no, no, no. architect, architect of thought. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, but I said mind sculptor. Oh, mind sculptor. Oh, okay, we had a little miscommunication there. <laughs> no, I I knew what I was talking about. Oh, okay. All, All right, right, here's here's a uh, Kazu has taken himself down to twelve, yep. so he has a one one death shadow, and also Kazu has also forgotten to put his lands in the back. Uh, we'll fix them for game two. Yeah. Oh, I already, I told him right before he came upstairs. Oh. I think he does this just to mess with me. He, yeah, he wants uh, he wants you to get exercise. He wants you to walk yeah. down the stairs. <laughs> Here's a rune, rune halo. I would imagine that's naming Death Shadow. He's gonna name something. Yeah, Death Shadow is pretty good. Now, just a reminder, yeah. it is a, an enchantment for white white, this, where you pick a card and you have protection from yes. that card. And this came up when Mark and I were playing because he did not know this, and since I have a little bit of judge knowledge myself, I actually knew this. You, Death, Death Shadow. Shadow. Thank you. You cannot name. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> You cannot name the. You cannot name a token with a rune halo. 
Because it says card. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, because what Mark tried to do to me, which is what he'll probably try to do this, one of the first lock pieces you're going to want to get off your Enduring Ideal, probably your first Enduring Ideal, is a Dovescape. Yeah. Uh, and so he Dovescaped me, and then he tried to cast Rune Halo Naming Bird. <laughs> and I had to inform him that, unfortunately, as sweet of an idea as that is, mm -hmm. that he cannot do that. So, yeah, there, so there, now he knows that. There are but. there are instances where you can name tokens to effects because tokens do have names. They do, right. But, but uh, if it says, it asks you specifically for a card. Right, yeah. You have to do, if you want to nab all the tokens, you have to do it off of like a Maelstrom Pulse type effect or an Echoing Truth where you yeah. target a permanent and all the other permanents with, with the, the same, same name. name. Like if, so a zombie token. You target a zombie token and kill the rest of the zombie right, tokens. Right, yep. yes. So once Mark, uh, if Mark can get the Enduring Ideal down, he's going to want to get Dovescape, and then if he's feeling uh, a little bit of heat still, he's going to basically start getting his Ghostly Prisons and his Fear Safeties until he can't be attacked, and then the ultimate end goal of Enduring Ideal is to get a Form of the Dragon. So what's, what's this one? Uh, for the, uh, what's this that he just played? Yeah, let's let's talk about what's going, okay. what's going on. That is, um, I forget the name of the enchantment itself, but it gives all his other enchantments shroud. Okay. So uh, Kazu had played a rally, attack for three with the Nakato, played the rally, or got back the bobble, yep. and now Mark has given all of his enchantments shroud. And here's Swift Spear, wow. Swift, Swift Spear, Spears. and Kazu's taken himself all the way down to five. But he has quite quite the board. Yeah. Death Shadow not going to do much. He could still attack with yeah. it. So if he gets another, uh, I think it's Greater Oromancy. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's correct. Yeah. So here's an attack for eight. Yeah. One, Ta two, yep, three, taking four, Mark six, all the way seven, down eight. to yep. nine. So he really needs, uh, like, a ghostly prison here. Humility would be it. Humility not, is not legal. Not legal, not legal. format. <laughs> <laughs> I think this mulligan. Here's a time of if I think this mulligan's the really. Mulligan four. Yeah. yeah, that's lethal. Yeah, that's, that is definitely lethal with yeah. the time of So, but he's he's got him. For he, game yeah, one. he's just counting. All right, so Kazi's yeah. quickly gonna take game one off the back of a multi four from Mark Bow. Multi four, Bauer. pretty rough. But it, it seemed like with you know a couple more log pieces, Mark could have been a lot more in that game. A ghostly prison. Uh, anywhere in there would have been super helpful. Super. Yeah. All right, so we're going to quickly move on to game two. Our players are sideboarding now. We're going to take another minute to uh, mention our event tomorrow. We do have a team unified uh, modern tournament this tomorrow at noon. The entry fee is $75 per team, which breaks down to $25 per player. And uh, unified does mean that everyone is playing modern but no one can cross their cards, meaning if I play Temple Garden, no one else on my team can play Temple Garden, regardless of how many copies I play. And of course, that does exclude basic lands. Yep. Does that exclude cards like Relentless Rats or Shadows um, of Fossil? I think there uh, that that official rules page that we looked at, I think, had uh, a section in there for that. I think. Can do. I think you can have like relentless rats. Well, let's, let's like, just like, find out. Or uh, we don't need I to watch say. people sideboard, so we're yeah. just gonna find out. Let's you guys still watch, but you can listen to uh, to us. Team unified construct. You lost your keyboard there. Uh, this keyboard is. I think we need some new batteries. Last time I up oh, there it goes. It, it seems like it has a delay on it sometimes. Oh. Team unified constructed. There we go. All right, so we are looking at the official Wizards of the Coast Team Unified Constructed page. Looking at the... No, oh, hold on. This is not... This is not the page that we wanted. No. I think this is the one we wanted. No, I think this is tournament coverage. You're gonna this is, yes. Yep. But it may have the rules on it. No, it does not. Let me check up on the players real quick. They're still sideboarding. I had that. Uh, rules. Yeah, I can probably find it in my old team chat too if we want to look at it on here. Yeah, I had a, I had a link to it at some point. Here we go. 
Oh, no, this is the same page. It just looks different. I had... The, the page I looked at had a lot more information on it. Okay. With the exception of cards with the basic super type or cards with text that specifies otherwise. So if we entered this, right. like let's say you, me, and Ryan enter this, all three of us could play Relentless Rats decks if we wanted to. Yep, and we could have 30 Relentless Rats in awesome. all of our decks. Awesome. All right, so uh, <laughs> Mark's on the play. He's not, sure, say, not sure why we would want to do that. Uh, I mean, I would. I'd be, I'd be down. All right, planes into Lotus Bloom. Kazu has a bobble, and he will get to target Mark this turn. He's going to show him a planes. And then forest into wild Nick. And we did not step downstairs. No. We're going to have to make this. Oh, you want? Do you want to go that's, downstairs? That's on you. I talk to Kazu about this every time I put him on camera. He has a mental block. About well, you, you got to keep up the fight. Minutes. You got to. You got. You can't. You can't no, back down. No, what I need is I need a. I need a war on two fronts. I need multiple all right, people. All right. we're, well, if we're going to have a rule, we're going to enforce it. I need multiple people telling him. All right. So Mark casts a suppression field there. Not, I don't know, too many instances uh, where that's really going to hurt Kazu's deck all that much. It will make him a little bit, uh, a little bit harder to uh, activate like his baubles and things like that. Here's a question. Yes. With a suppression field, does Kazu have to pay two mana in addition to paying two life to cycle? Yeah, it's an activated Sorry. ability. Should we look this up? Uh, yeah, go ahead and Google that one. All right. It's an act. It's definitely an activated ability. It Why is. did 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 that just happen? He just cycled two street raids. Do we need to stop them? We might. We might need to do that. Why don't you give him a stop? Oh. That might we might have to back that up a bit because he drew those cards off of that too. Alright, I got people test messaging me saying that he should not have been able to cycle. Okay. Hold on. So just step downstairs when you get messages. Alright. So he's naming Wild and the Cattle, but we have we got a ruling. Let me see here. I'm looking up the ruling myself just to be sure. All right, let me double check here. Suppression field plus cycling. Yes, yeah, cycling is an activated ability, so it is affected by suppression field. Yep, so Ryan's down there talking to them now. All right, so suppression field, a uh, little, little bit more damage in Kazu than I initially thought, because that prevents him from being able to cycle those things, too. So... Okay. Yep, any activated abilities hit by suppression field, triggered abilities aren't. So you can do things you can still do things like dredge or splice through a suppression field, but yep. So I don't know what Ryan's gonna do to help the players uh, resolve this because Kazu did cycle twice and drew two cards. So I'm not exactly sure what Ryan is going to do to handle this. You have that ruling, sir? I do, and uh, he does have to pay two mana every time he wants to cycle a street wraith. Okay. Yeah. Mute, mute the mic. Okay. Follow me. All right. Is this the mute here? No, over here. Audio input three. Just unblink it. Go to I. All right, we're back. Just had to confer with Ryan real quick about what we were going to do to handle this. Uh, we are the only two judges here, and we're both up in the booth, unfortunately, so that means sometimes we do miss things or players play a little too quickly and we're not quite able to catch it in time. Um, but we're going to keep moving on. 
Sorry. With the match. Sorry, I actually did two judge calls while I was down there. Oh, you did two judge calls. Yep. What was your other judge call? Uh, protection of red and trample of uh, a uh, core, oh, fire walk, core firewalker blocking a spark elemental. Mm. Yeah, they'll still take damage, right? The uh, the spark trample. elemental will take two damage, and then the player controlling the core firewalker will get the one damage trampling over. Right, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's update some life totals. Yeah, so I went to saying that I didn't think Suppression Field was going to affect Kazu that much to realizing now, after we have that little bit of uh, rules figuring out. It's good against Street Wraith. It is pretty good, actually. Yep. And it's good against uh, Mishra's Bubble, too. Yeah, well, I knew the, about Mishra's Bubble, but... Well, there's the Enduring Ideal. So that Rune Halo says Wild Nicotle, right? Uh, yes. Yes. So he had one, two, three, four, gets four off of that, and five, and sacked his bloom. So he's going to get... cast enduring ideal. So, so he's going to get a Phyrexian on life. Yep. And then each upkeep, he gets another enchantment. Yeah, so for the rest of the game, or the rest of this game, Mark cannot cast a single spell. But, but at the beginning of every upkeep, he will copy enduring ideal uh -huh. one time. Which uh, enduring ideal lets you search your library for any enchantment and put it directly out of battle. So basically, he he can just whatever creature Kazu casts, he can go get a a ruined halo or something else to, yep. to negate it. Yes. Or and get enough ghostly prisons out that he can't. Right. He can't now attack. that he's got the unlife, uh, his life total has enough of a buffer. I imagine that he's gonna grab uh, either ghostly prison or dovescape next. Right. And for one. We'll probably just start dumping ghostly prisons or maybe even sphere of safety. Yeah. Um, he could even actually go right for um, form of the dragon. Because form of the dragon makes it so that creatures without flying can't attack you at all. At the end of each of your turns, your life total becomes five. He's gonna get the armance first, okay. which which is safe. Yeah, right. He's not he's not under much of a clock right now, and this means that if Kazu has any uh, dis like disenchant effects, right now he and I know that Mark, unless he's changes this recently, uh, runs only a single copy of Form of the Dragon. Right. He also runs um, as his other one called Sun Home, or no, Assemble the Legion. Yeah, that's the red white one where you get a uh, you every, get a red every, white uh, one one soldier token at a, every upkeep. Well, it or you grows, get it for X counters. It like grows exponentially. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, every right. upkeep you put a counter on it, and uh -huh. then you get that many soldier tokens. It's a cool deck. Yeah, it is. It's sweet when you can pull it off the heart. The thing is, sometimes it's a little slow for the meta to really put the lock together. Yeah. Um. And like, yeah, we saw if you have to mull four, it's really rough. But it seems like he's well, probably going to be able to get the lock here. What deck isn't rough if you have to mull the four? <laughs> uh, affinity, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, that was yeah. five. All right, here. So, gonna hard cast the Street Wraith. Yep. So, I think he's gonna yeah, start. Time. I think he's gonna grab a Sphere of Safety here. Because it's gonna do a little bit more than a Ghostly Prison. Yeah. It's gonna make it hard for him to attack. He's gonna have to pay five to attack. Oh, no. He's just gonna go right for the Form of the Dragon. Gonna go right into it. So, tell me one more time what All that right. does. So, Form of the Dragon says uh, creatures without flying can't attack you. Okay. At the. At the beginning of each end step, your life total becomes five. Okay. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to deal five damage to target creature player. So basically, turns you into a dragon. Like it essentially okay. turns you into a dragon. You can't be hit by creatures on the ground, so it's like you have flying. Yeah. Uh, your life total becomes five at the end of every turn, so it's like your toughness resetting to five at the end of every turn. That's a really interesting and confusing design. And uh, and you deal five damage every turn, so it's like you get to attack somebody and you get to breathe fire out of you for five. All right, so he's turn. gonna play a shrine and kill his own shrine, end his turn, and mark is down to five. Yep. As an effect. That that is kind of yeah. dangerous because I mean, like, surely like Kazu has like lightning bolts and he has haste creatures. Yeah, but they can't attack. Even yeah, you're form. right, you're right, you're right. So, so it's just burn he's worried about. So maybe he gets Ley Line on his next. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's a little risky, honestly. Um, I heard some rumors that Kazu's got some burn cards in his deck. Somebody even thought he was running um, 
tribal flames. Oh yeah, this is definitely <laughs> a tribal flames deck. So that could that's risky because he could just blast mark out right here. Yeah, I mean I guess you. Flames. Well, you, he's got Phyrexian on life, so he does. And yeah. you're also your your back's against the wall. You're down a game. You got to play to win. Right. Uh, enduring ideal uh, before modern existed. So there's a tribal flames. Right. For yeah. five. It's gonna take him to zero. But yep. He's got Phyrexian on life. Right. And so he'll go back up to five at the end of his next turn, right? He will. Yeah. Yep. So he's gonna go to zero. Then I'll go back up to five. Yep. Mark saying you can't attack me. Oh yeah. Might yeah, be, I just got to read it one more time. Might be. <laughs> <'cause it's, laughs> so, um, modern became a thing in what, 2011? I think. I think. Uh, before that, we had extended. Yep. We had Sarah extended, and the reason they made modern was because extended was getting really confusing because real... extended went back like six or seven. It was also just nobody and played it. it. Really, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they did if they had to play it at a Pro Tour Grand Prix. That, that's the only time. And one of the really popular extended decks, uh, kind of right before yeah. Modern okay. became a thing. So Mark's going to get Leyline and Kazu's yeah. just going to pack it up. Was uh, Enduring Ideal. That's cool. Enduring Ideal was popular and extended. And they typically ran four copies of Form of the Dragon, so it was like they just went Form of the Dragon, Form of the Dragon, Form of the Dragon. Like That's kind of crazy. Blast you for 15. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so Mark Ballard has uh, managed to even it up here. Yeah. I, li I like it. Enduring Ideal decks are, they're sweet. They can get you if you're not ready. It's, it's pretty you know, cool. Enchant I think Mr. Like, Williams is playing one of these decks yeah. as well, isn't he? Uh, he, t he typically does. Uh, he plays uh, some version of it. Um, I think it's a little different than Mark's. So, actually, Patrick messaged me and said he was watching the and uh, he he made he we were he were talking about Mark's enduring idealists a little bit ourselves. Ah. but that's that's secret stuff. Okay, Pat's hey. actually my teammate for the for the. Who's the your Who's tomorrow. your third? Sean. Sean. Okay. Sean yeah, Carroll, yeah. yeah. So now you guys uh, played at the the team constructed event we did, right? Um. Yes. We. Or did you did you have Patrick? On? It was you and. It, okay, so our original team and Pat saying, talk about Chan Cameron. Yes, Pat, I love you, buddy. I'm going to talk about Chan Cameron. Don't worry, I won't talk about any of our secret conversations. You, uh, that was your original lineup, but then you had, there were some changes, right? Or something. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so our original team for the grinder was what we have for tomorrow. It was going to be me, Pat, and Sean. Mm -hmm. Or Sean, Pat, and I. Sorry for my grammar there. Yeah, that was uh, Pat. But yeah, it was. Um, Get good. Pat uh, had something going on kind of last second. I forget exactly what it was, uh, but he wasn't able to play. We learned about it like maybe oh, a then you got, week and then you got or sheets, two right? before, and we got Brandon Sheets yeah, to and, come and in. Then that, and then that birthed between the sheets oh, with yeah. Kurt and Carol or something like that. I like it. I approve. Yeah. That was and, that team and, name, I'll say for the record. And then totally that ideal idea. legacy endures to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think then Sheets is going to be playing tomorrow as well, but with yes, so uh, a right. little bit of drama. Actually, there was no drama, but uh, he got picked up by a, a, a competing team. By a competing team, oh. um, the infamous uh, Tyler the Turtle Claypool nabbed him. That guy, and uh, there, oh, oh Kazu. <laughs> And uh, yeah, once uh, once we learned that Sheets was not on the team, I, you know, I think we kicked him off of our team chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want him stealing your secrets. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Kaz is uh, going to start uh, cycling two Street Wraiths, Swift Spear in for one, and then uh, Mark just has a Plains on Kazu's second turn. He's going to attack for one again and play a Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf. Kazu's down to eleven, and Mark is down to eighteen. So I think Mark wants Rune Halo for Tarmogoyf now. I do actually. The term, term was just a two three, but oh, yeah, Pat Pat said he went to Virginia Beach. That's what it was. Probably that sounds had a, a lot better more decision. Fun than yeah, yeah. Had, we uh, lo love magic. Team magic sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't gotten a chance to trap myself, but going to the beach probably better. Oh, he's still here. Pat, kick him off. What's he doing on here? <laughs> he's in your group chat. What the heck? You guys need a better intelligence officer. Sharing sharing trade secrets. Yeah. 
All right, so we are on Kazu's turn three. I I've seen these Tribal Flames decks kill as early as turn three, but... I, well, I mean, yeah, you got big ghosts, you got big Swiss Spears, you can hit him for... Can you do just five? Go, yeah, just go with, with probe, probe, with the probe, shot probe, oh wait. You can do one, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah. You can hit five. Yeah. You can hit five. He's got five. he's got all of them now, except for planes. Yeah. And if that last one would have been a Temple Garden, he would have had the five. Let's see if he so catches the bolt. suppression fields this time with any cycling shenanigans. Yeah, he's already gotten rid of fifty percent of his street rates. Yeah. He's down to nine Good. off the shock. Ten. And then attack and marks down to ten. Kick it back. So Mark really needs some ghostly prisons here for for real. Yeah, because without a fourth land drop, Kazu could only attack with the one creature. Right. <laughs> I see another suppression field in his hand, and he's just going to have to cast that. It looks like he's missing a land drop, too. Uh, yeah, it's going to be rough. That's probably game. Yep, there's the tribal flames. Yeah, and according yep. yep, there it is. All right, so Kazu's going to take this two and one. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Paul is pointing out that Kazu searched a uh, overgrown tomb off of Arid Mesa. Oh, did they miss the suppression field again? They probably did. Oh uh, yeah, he also he missed the. Did he pay two for the fetch land? I don't think so. Well, that's a tough thing about not having a judge hovering over them. Yeah, every well, second of the match. It, it, it looks like Mark had a really slow start there anyway. Yeah. And, and regardless of that, regardless of the fetch land, uh, Kazu did have Goyf into Goyf. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even see a ghostly prison or anything of the sort in Mark's hand either. I know yeah, I see his whole hand. It was, it was an uphill battle yeah. for, for Mark, to be, to be sure. That, well, that Blood Moon definitely would have helped. Yep. He, All right. Yeah, he, he didn't. Yeah. Gotta catch your, you gotta catch your triggers. Alright, so we, that is it for this round. We might be grabbing another match, but I'm not sure. Uh, we've had some fast games this evening, yeah. so we might be heading into round four before you know it. Uh, one more time, I'm Ryan. And I am Kurt. And we will be RB.